I'm Anil Kumar and here we have thinking, information and problem solving question. You need to write equation from the given information about oblique asymptote. The question is, write an equation of rational function for the given conditions. First condition is, equation of oblique asymptote is y equals to x plus 1, x minus 1. Then we have vertical asymptote along x equals to minus 1 and it does not have x and y intercepts. So these are the three conditions given to you. Based on these conditions, you need to write a rational function. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So basically what you're given here is that, if you analyze it, oblique asymptote means that the function's end behavior is that it is approaching this line x equals to minus 1. So let us say this is the line x equals to minus 1, right? So this is y equals to x minus 1, right? So the function is approaching this line. That becomes the oblique asymptote. It has vertical asymptote x equals to minus 1. That means kind of like this. So this is the vertical asymptote, which is, let's say, x equals to minus 1. And this is y equals to x minus 1, we need to write a function which satisfies these conditions along with it does not have x and y intercept. So, so x and y intercept. We do not have horizontal or vertical asymptotes. So the best way here to, to satisfy this condition is that we can say that it has a hole at origin. So that really means it has hole at origin. Now, once you think like that, then it becomes simpler to write down this function, right? So now, let us write down the function. So this is kind of critical thinking, right? So when you say oblique asymptote is x minus 1, function is x minus 1, plus some remainder, and vertical asymptote is x equals to minus 1, that means x plus 1 here, right? So that becomes our function. Now, once I say that it has a hole at origin, that means the function will have a common factor uh, which is x over x. Now that cancels out giving us hole at the origin. So this is the function which we are talking about. You get the idea, right? So this condition, x over x, will give you the hole at the origin, right? And that is your oblique asymptote and this is your vertical asymptote. So that is how you get your answer. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now we can actually simplify this. So let's take common denominator of x plus 1 and we do have times x in the denominator. When you multiply, let me write x minus 1 times x plus 1 plus 1. This could be written as and we have, uh, okay, everything multiplied by x here. So we have x times x square minus 1, x square minus 1 plus 1 divided by x times x plus 1, right? So this could be written as minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So you get x cube in the numerator. And here you could write this as x square plus x, right? So that becomes the function, right? Now clearly, since the degree of numerator is 1 higher, it has an oblique asymptote. Now, and since as we saw, there is a factor x over x, which cancels out leading for the whole, so that really satisfies all the conditions which are given in this question. So this is a very important question. Go through it once again, try to understand the concepts, and then move forward towards sketching curves. Thank you, and all the best.